How much different is it for you this year compared to last year you know, after after making the conversion from safety to linebacker and not have that year under your belt? Uh, this year, I feel like there's no difference. Um, last year, just being a rookie, it was just all about learning about the linebacker position. You know, being a safety, it's a lot of different movements. But, you know, having this year, uh, this past year, to actually learn about it, sit behind people like CJ, uh, Quincy, Delshawn, everybody uh, who's here right now, even Quan, you know, now it's just about putting all the pieces together and going to play ball. Uh, Salah said the other day that he calls you the foreign park strangler, and he has a lot of that. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, that actually started on special teams. Uh, you know, like they say, I got these long arms, so we do some drills. You know, the goal is to compete. So, you know, I put my arms on them and, you know, I just try to win. And then ultimately it became a and park strength. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Anybody that outside of the facility and feel like you have to explain it? I feel like I would, you know, uh, just because it's different. You know, people would look at you crazy. Why are people calling you a strangler? So, uh, but no, I actually haven't got called it outside of the facility yet. Uh, you know, it was just my first game at, uh, after a year. You know, I had the injury, so, you know, I'm just glad to be back, go out there, play ball, play ball with my bros. You know, football doesn't last forever, so, you know, every opportunity I want to get, I want to seize the moment, and I'm just excited to play again. Is it something where you have to get up to speed a little bit once you're in an actual game, or, or just this sort of start No, I mean, like, as soon as you step on the field, you better be ready. I mean, shoot, if you're not, somebody's going to hit you in the mouth, so, you know, there's no catching up. You know, I'm just, as soon as my, ne- my number is called to get on the field, I'm going to be ready. We kind of just cracked into the rotation and uh, you know, learning a lot. So just how did you mentally deal with everything that came with that? Honestly, I feel like everything happens for a reason and you can look at it negative or positive to the whatever. Uh, so, you know, like when it happened, I was obviously undersized for the position anyway. So I looked at it as this was my opportunity to gain weight. So I put on about like 15 pounds this off season, you know, and then I actually, like I said, I got to learn. So sitting by CJ, even though I didn't actually get the reps mentally, I mean, physically, I got them mentally from CJ, you know, going in there, still watching film, taking notes. So when I got my chance to come back here on training camp, I was ready. Didn't have to ask too many questions, just go to play ball. Was gaining weight hard for you? Or was it like when you were a safety, were you trying to cut weight and now you're kind of back to where you're more comfortable? Uh, honestly, in college, you know, just day by day, you know, you just lift weights, eat whatever you want. So like putting on weight at that time was easy. Uh, then the draft process threw it off, and then it was hard to gain that weight back, especially when we got back uh, here for training camp last year. It was just losing a lot of weight at practice. But uh, going through this uh, rehab uh, process, it was actually really easy. You know, I wasn't running around for a few months, so I could put that weight on easily. And then once I started running, it was just about eating right consistently, lifting weights consistently to keep that uh, weight on me. So, like, I had a lot of carbs, rice, mashed potatoes, and it was easy to keep that weight on. What is a uh, quad project? A lot of energy. Uh, you know, I never met a guy like him. You know, early in the mornings, you know, a lot of people don't want to hear noise, but he come in the room, he's ready, he's talking. You know, he's an older guy too, so you know, you respect him. He say, what's up? You say, what's up back? He tell you, we got like energy vampires in here. He gonna make sure we all waking up. And then I actually like him a lot. Like I said, coming back this year, it's a lot of new stuff too that I've learned from him, just him being in like these little two weeks I've known him. Uh, a lot of like, linebacker moves that I didn't get to learn last year because of the injury uh, and then also transition to the position. So he actually helps us out a lot and I appreciate him. Huh? Oh yeah, I mean, he's a great kid. Uh, I, I watched all his highlights before they even drafted him and he was crazy. Reminds me a lot like Jalen Ramsey. He got all the swag out there on the field. He's a trash talker. He get into people. He's very physical with his hands. So I like that as a long corner. You know, I think he'll have a bright future in this league. How come you watching? I mean, shoot, he's just one of those guys. I mean, he just pops up all over your social media and stuff like that. Very flashy, very cool. You know, he's an interesting player. So, you know, like other guys at other positions I look at as well, just because like they catch your eye. And then you could also learn stuff from him. The way he puts his hands on people is the same way that I could put my hands on running backs when they're coming through the line of scrimmage. So you can learn a lot from everyone. Is he a better trash talker than Quan or no? Uh, I really don't know. It's just what I hear from the sideline. But I mean, at the end of the day, they're both great ball players. Thank you. Have a good day.